glad you're back because today I have an awesome video for you. And it is the seven simple things I do every day to learn a language. And I'm going to be including all the resources and tips in here so that you guys can do them too. Make sure to stick around till the end because I'm saving the best one for last. Or you could just skip there, I guess. But no, they're all super important. Y'all, first things first, I start by reading my Bible in my target language. I started reading through the Psalms in Spanish back in May, and then I like read through them and read through some other things, and then I decided it's time for me to start in French, so that's what I'm working on now. It's just something simple, and I like to read my Bible every day, so that's a great way to include it into my life. Because the only way you're going to get language practice fit into a busy schedule is to combine it with other things you do every day and use your brain and do it. So the second thing that I do is Duolingo. Y'all, you know, I like doing a little Duolingo. I love the audio lessons that they have for some languages and the stories. Y'all, not every language has the best options on Duolingo, but honestly, the little lessons, like, they come in handy. I'm not expecting it to teach me everything, but it definitely can help. And just to be, to see the language, to do something with it every day, to have a streak. Y'all, I just got an 800-day streak recently, in case y'all are wondering. Thank you for all of y'all that congratulated me. Yes. But yeah, I just like doing a little Duolingo every day, and it's fun. The third one is another app that I really like, and it is called Drops. It is basically just a vocabulary app, but vocabulary is really important, and I love the way they teach it because they use pictures. You are not linking this new word to the word in your native language. You are linking it with a picture. And sometimes the concepts and stuff aren't easily explained with a picture and it can be a little confusing. But I mean, like, I like the basic idea and the approach and you're really not penalized for mistakes and stuff. So I really think it's a great app. And there's also Droplets, which is like the kid version, but it's basically the exact same thing. And so what I do is I am doing French on Drops and Spanish on Droplets. And yeah, you only get five minutes a day to practice, but I kind of like how it limits you. You can't do too little, but you can't do too much in a day sort of thing. Just like get your five minutes in and there you go. And I love how much you hear the words because like every time you click on it, it's saying it. And so then like if you repeat it, like it really helps you get it in your brain and like learn pronunciation as well. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that app to y'all. So y'all, the next thing, tip number four is just, I like to listen to music in Spanish. I'm broadening it to French and Arabic as well. I like to listen to a lot of Christian music. So I found just different awesome musicians in those languages and just listen to some of their songs and I really love it. I absolutely love listening to Spanish worship music but I am like, I'm really starting to appreciate like Arabic, like it is so beautiful. And French, like I got some like rappy Christian songs that's like, ooh, 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 like I'm gonna dance to. And it's great. And then like my YouTube, like I have my own playlist for each language, but then like YouTube kind of like creates my own mix. And like, it's great to like, you know, just listen and like all my favorite songs and all different languages pop up. And I can just practice by listening and then like singing along and you're just you're absorbing those words in your brain in your heart and then like when you go from the point where you've heard the song and you don't understand it to the point where you do understand it it's so powerful so honestly like any songs like y'all just hearing things over and over help you and songs are one of those things that, like, you don't mind listening to over and over. 
So yeah, find some music you like in your target language and that'll help you a lot. Fifth simple thing I do every day to learn a language is having my phone tr in a different language. Right now it is in French. And let me tell you, it might seem like a small thing or a big thing depending on where you're at in your language journey. But let me tell you, it's an important thing. Is I learned a lot of words that I may not use every day in a conversation, like cut, paste, print, contrasigne, but eventually those words are gonna come up and you're gonna wanna know how to say them. And if you've been using them to operate your phone every day of your life for the past, I don't know how long, it's gonna be like, oh, I totally know what that is. Instead of it's like, what are you talking about? Like, I haven't learned that yet. Like, it's just a great way to kind of immerse yourself and get yourself ready to learn different words and encounter different environments. And honestly, I think it's 100% one of the best ways to get yourself used to not knowing everything and being comfortable in uncomfortable situations. Because I've had little notices pop up in foreign languages that I can't read and it's terrifying. But you know what? You take a little screenshot, you take it to Google Translate, and you translate it, now you know what it means and it's no big deal. So yeah, definitely try to like learn new words and don't freak out. That's my main tip for you on this. And if you don't have a phone, I don't know. Number six! What was number six? Oh, number six is like one of my absolute favorites. And that is writing. I will link my, my language learning plan video in the description for y'all to read all about that. Watch, sorry. But anyway, basically, one of the most helpful things I think that I've ever done is writing a page of that language every single day. Y'all, life may be hectic, things get busy, but I have been going strong now, doing it every single day, since like the 28th of June, I believe. Yes, that's like over six months, every day. That's great. And you know what? Some days, when you don't have much time, do something easy. Translate vocab words like that you read and stuff. Like, do an easier thing. And like, days that you have more time, like, really dedicate yourself. But basically, just enjoy it, and writing is going to help you. So, yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. And you should totally check that video out about that. And I'm actually going to be making a part two soon because I've come up with some more strategies for y'all. Number seven, last and most importantly, congratulations, y'all made it, is, you guessed it, chatting with your friends. I know, it's not even work. In fact, it's like a ton of fun. That's why it's the best. And in fact, it's, it's just, it's the most useful because it's doing what you actually want to do with the language, using it. Yes, so definitely. I know we don't all have access to like friends that speak the language we want to speak, but y'all, if you're really dedicated, you'll find them. Someone will come your way. So y'all, I can't talk to my friends from Mexico every day, all the time. And that is honestly why my Spanish has improved so much because I just use it, I talk, I speak Spanish. I get used to that. And you know what? It's become so natural to me. I don't even think about like people not being able to speak English. Like I don't think about that because like I speak Spanish with it. Just chat with your friends, with anyone you can, learn. On Spanish right now, I think Duolingo has an audio chat room, which is great because you can just practice talking to other Spanish speaking learners and y'all can help each other and you actually use the language and it's going to help you so much. Okay, so those were the seven things, 
seven simple things I do every day to learn a language. But you know what? Sometimes I do more stuff. I can't do everything in a day though. But basically, just do things that interest you and you love. For me, I like If this video inspired you or gave you any ideas for your language learning process, please give it a thumbs up because I want all you language learners out there to be able to learn languages. Yes, join me please. And if you want, subscribe because y'all, I got those subtitles and I'm going to help you get to where you want to go. And y'all, that was amazing. <clears throat> amazing video. I can't wait to see y'all soon. Bye!